In this video, we are discussing about how to manage purchase return or debit notes. As a customer, if you receive products that you would like to return back to your seller or supplier, you can issue a debit note to claim back for goods you have received on credit. You can issue the debit note when goods received are damaged or defective or the purchaser has been overcharged or the invoice value is incorrect due to extra goods being delivered or the goods are charged at lesser value. Let's see how we can manage the purchase return. So let's go to our purchase module. So let's create a purchase request. So we have had a vendor and add a product and if you are checking the on hand quantity you can see the on hand quantity is 110 and you are purchasing another 5 quantity for the unit price of 100 so the total will be 500 and confirm the order so on receiving this product you can see the done quantity as 5 that is the goods are purchased now consider the situation in which you are not paid so you can just return the faulty product suppose you have two products are faulty and the receipt product so you are returning the quantity and quantity is mentioned as 2 and the return location is towards the vendor so on clicking on return and validating so the product is returned now on checking the product you can see the on hand quantity is 113 that is 5 is ordered and 2 is returned so remaining 3 will be added along with 110 quantity so it will be 113 in the on hand quantity here you can have two receipt first one is uh, purchased that is 5 units of quantities purchased and next transfer is 2 is returned so yeah you can create bill from here so it will be bill for three quantity posted and you can make payment so you can choose the journal payment method uh, amount is automatically filled and you can add the recipient back in the account so so it is paid this is the first case here since we haven't paid so there is there not uh, require any kind of alterations so the vendor bill you can see as bill for three units of quantity now let's see what happens when the return of product is after making payment so create another purchase order you can add the vendor and again 10 products are ordered confirm order so you can see the uh, on hand quantity is 113 right now now receive the product on validating you can see 10 more quantities added that is 123 now create bill and made a payment for 10 unit of quantity and register the payment on validating the payment has done now on receiving the 10 quantity uh, the purchaser found that 
some of them are faulty so he can return that so suppose 3 is faulty return location click on return so the product is return and validated now you can see uh, the quantity is 120 okay now the goods are purchased from the seller and you would like to return the goods for any valid reason so you have to issue the debit note so debit note is similar to that of credit note uh, and unlike other accounting software credit note uh, itself uh, is used for purchase written in order so at the vendor bill you can add a credit note it is 3 is return so we have mentioned the reason that is faulty product reverse so now you can reverse the product there is a um, have to refund for those return product post it and make payment and validate in this case we are done a partial refund if you wanna do it full refund you can you have to first on reconsult this and then add the credit note so you can um, make refund for the full amount and you can see two vendor bills here uh, first one is your vendor bill and second one is the reversed bill so in this way you can manage purchase return and when you check out the product so you can see 120 is a on hand this is all about how to manage the purchase return or adding a debit note in order if you are interested in knowing more about this or looking for any Odoo implementation or customization in your business, drop your request to info at cybrosis.com.